G'day guys, it's Alan Kemp here from Queensland Solar and Lighting and right now we're going to get into a video that I'm going to film for you which is titled Best Solar Panels for Australia in 2023. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because last week I've done something similar, Best Solar Inverters for Australia 2023 and the way I did it, I've done it so that I can position myself as the layman sitting in front of his computer, his device, googling what are the best solar panels uh and i'm going to see and try to understand what you guys get fed from google and then you guys are ringing solar retailers such as ourselves in brisbane uh you're ringing sydney retails melbourne wherever you are this should even over in the world america uk you all jump online you don't know anything but you want the internet to try to tell you to help with your research about buying a solar system today we're doing panels all right, so you you jump online and you pump into Google uh, this query, Best Solar Panels Australia 2023, something like that. I know what you do because you tell me what you do. All right, now let's make it bigger for you guys. Let's see. So your first one, this is an ad, sponsored, means this company paid for it. So that's the first result you'll probably click on if you've got no idea what's going on. Sunburst, they are uh, advertised heavily all over the internet. They're in Western Australia here, they're in everywhere Sydney, Brisbane, everywhere. Solar quotes, this is another ad that's solar quotes. 90% of buyers have come across uh, solar quotes websites. A gentleman by the name of Finn Peacock, great guy. Everyone loves him in the industry. We all don't agree with him because we've all got different perspectives, but. We all think he's 75% on the money most of the time. Um, all right, now we go down here first, organic result. So a lot of people click on this one. That's his website once again. Uh, he hasn't paid for that one. Energy Matters, they're a big solar company that have been around for 10 years. I think they're a wholesaler at one stage. They might just be a lead generation company. So you like Finn's website, Solar Quotes, you click on it, read it. Fill out your information about where you live and then, you know, three three or three people, three solar companies will call you on what, uh, your business. Envirofriendly, never heard of them. We'll see what they've got to say for themselves. Solaray, they were a heavily vaccinated company out of Sydney, I believe. And Solar Choice is a solar website that uh, tries to mimic Finn's uh, solar quotes website and that should be good enough let's have a look at this too so this is what you get in front of you just so i can try and understand what's going on in your brain when you call me so oh, i want a quote or well, heard this is the best i'm like mate slow down all right this is a terrible website what the hell's going on here take your they're paying like ten dollars fifteen dollars a click for this do i own or rent probably i own it how big is your bill 750 I'm not doing all that. So a lot of people just bounce off that. That's crap. All right, let's have a look at this. Because you just want the information, you want it quick. Sunburst, they've got claim your 100 buck discount. I just want the price. I just want the panel. See, this is Alan Border. He's going out and hitting a six. Um, What's he doing here? He's selling 6.6. .6. So you can kind of get a price guide there. You're saying, you know, they've got a special on usually four grand now 34.91 that is ridiculously cheap um but what panels are they using i want to know what the best panels are so there's no mention of a panel brand here so what are they doing so someone who types in like best solar panels and comes on this website they can see it's cheap usually something's that cheap it's nasty because there's no brand name they're not all they're doing is telling you the system size and the price so you want to know the best panel so this one doesn't tell me anything either it just says they've got a sale on and it's ultra too cheap it doesn't come anywhere near the quotes that you've had before so then you bounce off this one then you come on the Finn's website and he's saying if you're buying you don't want to pay BMW prices for a Kia and that's because you've got no idea about solar brands you know what they say to me oh, i want this brand i go oh, i'm selling this brand never heard of it i go it's a solar panel company of course you never heard of it 
<laughs> have you heard of that other brand that you just mentioned to me? Or I'd come across it two days ago. I go, well, you didn't hear of it before that. So anyway, let's get into it. Uh, because a lot of people, they were, and it's still going on. You, to someone who does no research, this is what they're fearing. He's really, you know, trying to uh, capitalize on the fear here because he knows people know nothing about solar but a lot of people that come onto his website nearly everyone wants to quickly familiarize themselves with the industry and not pay bmw price for a cheap chinese panel so he's trying to tell you what's going on so with this uh little graph thing he's made we don't really uh we all have a laugh at this every year. He rejigs it, and it's been out for a few years now. And we all don't agree on it a hundred percent, but we all kind of say eighty percent near enough. It's pretty right. But let's see what he's got going on here. So your big, well, your biggest ones, your biggest solar panels that are sold in Australia by quantity and volume would be Trina and uh, Jinko by far. So they're like your Toyota Camrys. Good, well priced. Warranty is good. They've been around long enough. They they seem to do warranty. Some people have problems with it, so they don't sell it. Or I sold them before. They didn't give me any warranty. Never again. So you get you get those camps, and uh, then you get Longy. That's been straight for a long time now. Um, then these things like Solar Heart, which are rebadged astrology panels. Which you can see astrology is not even there. Solar Heart will also make a better one, which is a rebadged Q cells, which are there. So all your premium ones are common. You've got your REC, Q cells, Sun Power. On the left side, they're all pretty much the same technology, just different badge, different same warranty, same specs. Near enough the same panel, but a different name on it pretty much. The technology and you get a different product. At the right side of the graph here, which is like your Q cells, your RAC, your sun power, it's a different panel. But and these are usually twice the price. Whether they're twice as good, that's for you to, you know, you know. I don't know. They're twice as good, apparently. Because what you got to say to make people pay twice as much for it. So I hope so. But as you know, they fail as well. So yeah, let's. I'm not really yeah, i don't know see they all fail that's the thing in when a new product comes out see this rec solar heart silhouette that's a rebadged q cells duo series how long have the q cell duos been out for not long so it's like how do we know if they're good or not because you don't know if it's a lemon yet they're supposed to last 25 30 years but they could die at the six year mark and they're being out for 12 months and you're selling them as a premium but you don't know if it has the legs in it versus your stock standard Jinko or Trina that's half price and could potentially outlive it. You don't know all this stuff. It's like European cars. You know that they're expensive and fancy, but, you know, it's often 10, 15 years later, they're worth less than the Commodore was and they're just lemons. You know, it, it happens. So you don't want to be caught out like that either. So what else do you look at? You read his blog here, so he's got REC is the best uh, panel, full stop, the most expensive too. Well, Sun Power comes in second. They're more expensive than REC, I guess. But uh, And then QSL's and Trainer, which is, yeah, interesting. What else have we got here? Sun Power. Just tells you information about it. He's asked a whole heap of installers this information. So that's where he gathered all this data from. Energy matters, you might come across these guys. That is just generic crap. Panasonic, never seen a Panasonic panel sold ever in Australia. Generic, like I said. Enviro friendly, never seen this website. Got information, current panels, just looks like copy-paste stuff, hard to read. 
But yeah, long either a cheap panel now. Train of solar vertex, that's the base panel. Terrible list. The people come and ring us, I want the best, I want a longy. Why am I I'm like, you want a cheap panel? No, it's a good panel. It says cheap. Maybe good, you tell me. I'm not gonna tell you it's good. Solar ray. So whoever that guy is. Um and as you can see, REC Sun Power, REC Q cells. In my opinion, they're all good. They're all good. They all work. They all put power out the day we install it, and we've just got to warrant it. So I can't really tell you any difference about it all. Just buy from a company that makes you comfortable. That's all I can really say. Solar Choice. Look at this product. 25 years, 25 years. Sun Power, 40 years. 25 years, 30 years, all got rid, solar, what, you can't even buy that panel anymore now in Australia for like a year and a half, like these lists are just crazy, take it all with a grain of salt I reckon, solar, once again, they're gone, yeah, grain of salt guys, this list, just changes too much and, um, I honestly don't know what to say. Like, they're all so similar. Like, yes, I know that panel sold in Australia. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Not sure. Yeah, that's probably... They're like this smaller uh, companies sell those. Canadian Solar, yes. REC. They're all sold and they've been sold for 10 years now. They're probably decent, you know. Oh, I'm sorry I can't help you much more than this, but it's like, how can I say which is good or which is not? I'm just having a look at what you guys are getting fed. You know, I understand the other side of it, and to me it all looks like gobbledygook as well. It's like, they're all the same. Warranty conditions are the same. Websites say the similar thing. Just buy from it. it that's what I mean. It doesn't really matter. It worries about the... Main thing to worry about, not the inverter, they're all good. Panels, they're all roughly the same, they're all good. The the thing that you want is it installed properly, you want a good installer and a good solar retailer that will look after the problems if and when they arise. That's it. So enough of the what's the best solar panel because unless I've got a time machine, I can't tell you. I don't know. Just look for a good solar company, that's it.